for your college basketball picks. This is action here for Saturday, December the 10th. I'm Tony T with our college basketball pick show here for Saturday action. Uh, we have uh, nine games before we get into just a couple things. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Free college basketball picks are updated all season long. Free picks every day from all the major sports. We also have NBA, NFL, college football, NHL, World Cup. Hey, we load a ton of free picks on this channel, so make sure you subscribe. Also, if you would support our channel, like this video, give us that thumbs up. We greatly appreciate it. Then visit Tony'sPicks.com, our multi-capper site showcases top cappers in our industry. Click the links to the hot cappers. Get signed up to some of our long-term passes. You'll see Nick has been on fire here. Tiffany's been doing great as well. Uh, Paul, we got Mindy. Click the links to get signed up to our long-term passes. You'll scroll down and find our latest premium picks here. Uh, a featured plays here from our cappers. The best bets. Each capper can release one best bet per sport per day. We've got many. We'll have many up there here for this big card from Saturday. Uh, college basketball, college football, and we got NHL, NBA as well. You'll find our $15 premium pick here. Each capper can designate one of their picks on their card as a $15 premium pick just to introduce and their service to new and existing customers. The three packs are very popular. We'll have a lot of them for you on Saturday. And our pick ticker, when you scroll down, if you prefer, you can purchase your picks, your premium picks, on a la carte basis with team versus team information. Plenty up here for Saturday. And our promo code, you can save 20% off all premium pick packages. When you use that promo code Tony T at checkout, you can access our page by clicking the link you see in the description. Click the All Cappers tab and get signed up. Also love to hear from you guys. So post your picks in the comments below. And also, well, you can apply for our site as a capper and our podcast. Every pick, every show in podcast form. It's Tony's Picks, the podcast, available on all major platforms. Just search Tony's Picks. All right, let's go ahead. Let's get this one started. Arizona versus Indiana. College basketball pick. This one goes off here on Saturday Game will be played on a neutral court in Las Vegas. Arizona improved to 7-1 and 1-1 in the Pac-12 after their 81-68 home win to California. Wildcats had another good shooting game, hitting 49%. Their lone loss came at a Utah a team with a good size and were held to 35% shooting. Wildcats sit second in offensive efficiency behind 36% shooting from the field, 64% inside. They don't force turnovers on defense, allow 35% from three. Good rebounding team that defends inside. Now, Indiana 8-1 after an 81-65 home win in Nebraska to move to 1-1 in the Big Ten. The Hoosiers' own loss came at Rutgers by 15 as they were held to just 30% shooting. Hoosiers are 27th in the offensive efficiency, getting 36% uh, from 3 and effectively shooting inside at 60%. Indiana 11th in defensive efficiency. Holding teams at 29% shooting from 3, 42% inside. They do force turnovers. They secure the basketball. Wildcats still have shot 49% or greater in seven of their eight games this season. The Hoosiers have shot 49% or greater in eight of their nine. The play here, Arizona and Indiana over 158.5. Kansas versus Missouri. College basketball pick for Saturday. Kansas improved to 8-1 after that 91-65 home win to Seton Hall. Jayhawks' lone loss came to Tennessee by 14, playing their third game in three days. Jayhawks sit 23rd in offensive efficiency, behind 36% shooting and 53% around the bucket. Good defensive team sitting 15th in, in efficiency, holding teams to 29% from three, 45% in, uh, uh, inside. This is the Jayhawks' first true road game. Missouri 9-0 on the year. They have played a week schedule with notable four-point road win at Wichita State by four in overtime. Tigers secure the basketball, hit 35% from three. Really strong scoring team inside, hitting 64%. They struggle with defensive rebounding and guarding the perimeter uh, as they've given up 36% from three. But uh, but lots of transfer filled this Missouri team as they, they come in 15th in D1 experience. Away from home, though, Jayhawks have shot just 40%, which include four on neutral sites. Now, they hit uh, their first two-row game of the season. The play here, Missouri, plus three and a half. Memphis versus Auburn, college basketball pick. This one goes off here on Saturday. Auburn, uh, well, the uh, game will be played in a neutral site in Atlanta. Memphis, they sit at 7-2 and two on the year. Losses came to Seton Hall by one on a neutral court and at St. Louis by six. They do have a road win at Vanderbilt. Tigers have struggled from the three-point line where they make 32% and with defensive rebounding. Positive is they do force turnovers and defend the interior. Memphis, 13th in the nation in, D in D1 in experience. Auburn checks in 8-0. Notable win came by 5 at home to St. Louis, but a relatively weak schedule up to this point. 
Auburn facing weeks competition has struggled at the three-point line where they make just 29% and at the free throw line just 65%. Strong defensive performance team here sitting seventh in efficiency. Auburn is holding a post at 26% uh, from three, 42% inside. This is an experienced team who sit fourth in minutes, but the shooting is a concern for Auburn here. The play here will be Memphis plus one and a half. San Diego State and St. Mary's college basketball pick. This one is on Saturday. The game will be played on a neutral court in Phoenix, Arizona. San Diego State enters play at 7-2. Losses came to Arizona by 17. Arkansas by 4 in overtime at neutral courts in Maui. They do have an 11-point win on a neutral court to Ohio State. Aztecs have seen struggles at the three-point line. And with offensive rebounding, the team is hitting 29% from beyond the arc. On defense, they rank 19th in efficiency, but surrender 50% inside. St. Mary's checks in at 7-3. They broke a three-game losing streak with a 20-point home win to Missouri State. The losses came to Washington and Houston on neutral courts and New Mexico by four at home. Gales have defended well this season, sitting eighth in the nation in efficiency. They rebound, force turnovers, limit teams to 40% shooting inside. Offensively, a good three-point shooting team that converts 37%. St. Mary's goes deep with their starters, as they said, 30, 343rd in bench minutes. Asics have shot the, the better of the two teams away from their home court play here. San Diego State minus one. Arkansas versus Oklahoma college basketball pick. This one goes off here on Saturday. Game will be played on a neutral court in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Arkansas enters play here at eight and one. Lone loss came to Creighton on a neutral court in Maui. Razorbacks, a strong defensive team, sitting ninth in efficiency. They rebound, force turnovers, defend the goal at, at all areas. Offensively strong, scoring around the bucket, but hits only 31% from three and weak on the glass. Arkansas has good size, but inexperienced. Oklahoma 7-2, lost at home to Sam Houston State by one, and at Villanova by four. Sooners, a good shooting team that converts 38% from three, 55% inside. They rank 34th in defensive efficiency in the nation. With strong rebounding, interior defense, and they hold opponents to 27% from three. Sooners against quality opponents have shot the ball well. Play here, Oklahoma plus four. Xavier versus Cincinnati college basketball pick for action on Saturday. This is a rivalry game uh, held in Cincinnati between these two Cincinnati-based teams. Xavier has a mark of 6-3 and three on the year. Losses uh, came uh, by two at home to Indiana, plus neutral courts uh, defeats against Duke and Gonzaga. Musketeers ranked ninth in the nation in offensive efficiency. They hit 43% from three, 55% inside. Xavier, a good defensive team inside, uh, but allows... 39% from three. Musketeers do rank 25th in the nation in D1 experience. Cincinnati enters play at 6-3. and three. Losses came on the road here to Northern Kentucky by 13. Arizona uh, to Arizona as well. And then uh, Ohio State here on a, on a neutral court. Bearcats secure the basketball. Rebound well on both ends. Average defensive team from the perimeter and interior. Inside scoring, though, strength 52%. But the free throws just fall at 64%. But the Bearcats are 5-0 at home, shooting 48% and allowing just 37%. First two road game for the Musketeers. Play here in Cincinnati, plus three. Alabama versus Houston. College basketball pick. This one goes off here on Saturday. Alabama 7-1 on the season. Lone loss came to a very good UConn team on a new court by 15 points, and that was a back-to-back -back spot. Crimson Tide has struggled with turnovers and interior shooting this season. They do a great job on the offensive glass and convert 35% from three. Team sit 17th in defensive efficiency by allowing 29% from three and 40% shooting around the bucket. Houston has a mark of 9-0 this season. Cougars have a notable road win at Oregon and a neutral site win to St. Mary's. Houston sits second in the nation in defensive efficiency. They force turnovers, hold teams at 23% from three, 38% inside, offensively strong on the glass, and they connect on 54% around the bucket. Crimson tied in four games on neutral courses this season, shot just under 40%. And holding teams to 38%. Cougars under in 7 of 9 to play here. Alabama and Houston under 137. Washington State versus UNLV. College basketball pick. Saturday game will be played in the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. Washington State here 4-4 four four on the year. 0-2 in the Pac-12. No notable wins with step-up losses. Uh, coming in conference. Uh, the losses came to Oregon by 14 on the road. And to Utah by two in overtime. 
Oh, Cougars shoot uh, well from the three-point line, converting 37% and 51% inside. They struggle with turnovers. Above average rebounding team on defense. Washington State allows 32% from three and 47% inside. UCLA, perfect 9-0 on the year. Notable wins were uh, to Dayton by eight and Minnesota on neutral court by nine. Rebels defend well as they are second in the nation in forcing turnovers. They hold teams to 32% from three and 46% around the bucket. Offensively, they hit 34% from three, but only 48% inside. This is an experienced running Rebels team. Cougars in their four games on the road on neutral courts are hitting just 41%. The site does favor UNLV. The play here will be UNLV minus the two and a half. Penn State versus Illinois, college basketball pick Saturday. Penn State enters here with a mark of 6-3, 0-1 in the Big Ten after their 67-56 home defeat to Michigan State. Nitty Lions struggle to shoot the basketball in defeat, hitting just 39%, 8 of 27 from three. They allowed 43% shooting from three to the Wolverines. Illinois sits at 7-2. Uh, they opened Big Ten play with a 71-66 a road defeat at Maryland. They bounced back by defeating Texas in overtime in MSG. Final line ice at 29th in offensive efficiency uh, as they convert 57% from, from the field uh, from inside as well as 36% from three. Defensively, they sit 12th in the, in, in the, uh, in the uh, nation efficiency behind strong interior defense, giving just 42% around the bucket. They force turnovers, limit teams to 30% from three. Now, Penn State has struggled on the offensive glass, but they've shot 39% from three, 52% inside on the air. The Indian Lions have the most D1 experience of any team in the, in the nation, but at home, final line eye shooting 49%. The Indian Lions, 34% shooting in their Big Ten game at, at home. And that's a concern going on the road to a really strong defensive team. Play here will be Illinois at minus the nine and a half. All right, that was our college basketball pick show here for Saturday. Make sure to like and subscribe. Subscribe to our channel. Tons of free picks on our channel every single day. Tons of them. So make sure you subscribe. Our live shows start here at 9 a.m. Eastern time. Morning scene, remote and midi. So tune in for that on 20 Back later today with more free picks.